Hi, I'm Ashley and this is Garden Buzz. Today we're going to be doing some garden maintenance. I noticed yesterday when I gave a tour that there's some things that need some help in the garden. So I made a checklist and we're going to get started here. Let me show you some of the products we're going to use. So I've got a couple trellises here that my husband made to trellis the beans. And then we've also got some fertilizers. I like to use this Fertilume blooming, blooming and Rooting Solution. It's like a quick energy drink for the plants and I haven't fertilized them for a while. So we're going to give them some of this. And on top of this, we're going to give them some Garden Tone. And then the berries are going to get Holly Tone. And the tomatoes are going to get Tomato Tone. This is more of a slow release fertilizer that you do about once a month. And then we've got some things to help our tomatoes on their trellis. I've got this gardener's, it's, it's like a Velcro. So I think this will help a lot, especially if I can't get them too close to the trellis to like weave them through, I can use this. And then also my uh, tomato cages came with these little clamps. They have two different sizes, this small one and then a medium size. And I thought I could use those to clamp around the cattle panels. Um, I've also got some chelated iron. I'm going to give the blueberries and I've got a couple Solutions here for blossom rot. I've got this slow release calcium nitrate high yield fertilizer and this fertilume yield booster This is more something you spray on the plant. This goes in the dirt. I also have some bug spray I'm going to do. I noticed that my uh, radishes and potatoes and my beans all have little holes in them like there's a bug eating them and I'm going to use this organocide it's bee safe which is really good because we keep bees and it kills a numerous amount of um, insects like aphids white fly spider mites fungus gnats thrips mealybugs scale insects and more uh, I've never used this before so be interesting to see how it works. It says people, pet, and planet safe. Uh, for our drip, I'm going to use this drip tape. So if you haven't used drip tape before, it is my favorite drip product so far. Um, everything I, else I use usually clogs. We've got really hard water and I have to change a lot. But this I noticed lasts a lot longer. So we're going to use this. I got it from dripdepot.com. And then these are adapters that you hook to the one half inch tubing. And then these are the enders to close the drip tape off. So let's get started. All right, so here are my blueberry plants. And as you can see, they only have one drip line here. And I'm gonna add another right here. There used to be one, and then I felt like they were getting too much water. So I took it out, but I don't think that was the, what the problem was. I'm sorry about my hen, she is so noisy. Sometimes I think she's noisier than our roosters. Uh, so if you can hear that, sorry about that. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my little hole punch and I'm gonna punch a hole in the one half inch tubing. Let's see, I think I'm gonna go about right here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these adapters and I'm going to stick it in the hole. Oh, it's kind of hard. There we go. And then you've got to take your drip tape and you're going to stick your drip tape. Here, let's put this over here. You got to stick the drip tape on the adapter like this. First, make sure the cap is all the way open and stick it on there as far as you can and then twist it shut. Make sure you get it on there as good as you can because I've had a couple of my drip and my potatoes, this came off, so the water was, when the drip came on, the water was just squirting everywhere and that's why my potatoes are kind of laying flat in the middle. 
But then you're just going to take your drip tape and head to the other end of your bed and then put an end cap on it and you're all done. So next you're going to take your drip tape and you're going to cut it at the end. Let's see, we're going to go about right here. There we go. And you're going to take your ender, this piece right here, and it goes on, there's a wider side and a slimmer side. You're going to put it on the slim side and pull it all the way in there, just like that. And then you're going to take this extra that came out the bottom and fold it up underneath here. Oh, wants to be a little bit difficult. And then you pull the ender down and you are all done. And then you can put a staple in it also just to keep it down. You don't need to, but sometimes it helps so the drip tape doesn't move when it comes on. And we're all finished, two more to go and then on to the next project. I'm going to trellis the tomatoes. I was going to harvest, but then I saw that there are some peppers over here, and if I don't get the tomatoes trellised, I don't think I'll get all the peppers harvested. So let's do that first, and then we'll move on to harvesting. I'm going to use the clips first, and then we'll see if there's any branches on the tomatoes that need the Velcro. So these are really easy. They just clip like this. And there's these small ones. And there's also these larger ones. So let's see how they work. I'm gonna see if I can stick this branch through here. Breaking it. And then we'll clip it to this cattle panel right here. Right. Put these two on this side. And then, oh, I, see, I don't know about this big, huge branch right here. It's got some tomatoes on it. Let's see if we can get it up here. I'm just going to use one of these small clips. See how that works. I think the bigger clip will work better. All right, so those clips are working pretty good. I'm gonna try some of the Velcro with those that I can't pull too close to the panels, but I'm just gonna get right at it and then we'll move on to harvesting.
was a way bigger job than I thought it was going to be. I have literally been out here all day trellising these tomatoes, pruning them, weeding, and I got the drip done, but I have not got the fertilizing done or uh, root blossom treatment and the trellis is done on the beans. But before I do that, I wanna take a look and see what it, what it looks like now. So you can see that now there is a clear pathway through the garden beds where before you had to walk through uh, the tomatoes that were growing out of the beds. So that's the right side. And then over here is the left side. And then let's look inside. I mean, I uncovered a lot of fruit. So you can see right there, we've got all of those tomatoes. And there's one right here that's almost ripe. It's getting there, ready to pick. And then I even found a tomatillo as I was trellising the tomatillos. Let's see if I can find it. You see it in there? One tomatillo. But I think it turned out really well. I uncovered a lot of fruit. It will be easier to get to it. I think the saddest part of the whole thing was how many of my romas have blossom rot. I did take the cages out of my romas. I think that's going to help them breathe better, get more air circulation. Um, there's still a lot of romas on there, just an awful lot that I had to pull off with blossom rot. Um, here's my cherry tomatoes. Looking good. And yeah, as you can see down here, right here, there are still a lot of romas on there. Hopefully if I spray them, they won't get blossom rot. Look at all of those tomatoes. Man, there's some big ones. So I have a few things left I wanna do this evening. I'm gonna trellis the beans. I'm also going to feed my plants and then I need to put the bug spray on and a treatment for the root blossom. And then that's it. So I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Oh, really quick. So while I was out here trellising the tomatoes, something really cool happened. So I just thought I would share it with you guys. I'll take it over. I was so surprised that it happened. I just wasn't ready for it. I knew it was going to happen, but I wasn't ready for it. But anyway, we've been letting one of our hens sit on some eggs. She always wants to sit on them and we try to get her off of them, but we just decided this time we're gonna let her sit on them. And one of them hatched. So let me show you that really quick. So we've got this cute little baby here. She is adorable or he, I don't know yet, but look at it. So cute. And then there's another one that's cracked. Mama's laying on it and two more. We're gonna take her out though because there was like 10 to begin with and now there's only four. So we're thinking that maybe the other hens are disturbing the eggs. Oh, she's getting upset. So we are going to leave her alone. Sorry, Mama.
just in time. I got everything fertilized and sprayed. The trellis is in. Feeling really good about everything. It turned out great. I'll link all my products that I use down below in the description. Uh, have a great day and happy gardening. So here's our harvest. This is day two of garden maintenance because I definitely didn't get everything done on day one. I underestimated how long it would take, but we've got some zucchini, some cucumbers, some peppers, of course some tomatoes, radishes, beans, all kinds of fruits and vegetables in there. We did have some strawberries also, but those got used for yogurt parfaits this morning that were absolutely delicious. But I noticed that my zucchini have blossom rot also. So I had to spray those too. I know it's not inconsistent watering because they get the same amount of water at the same time every day. So it's got to be a calcium deficiency. So hopefully I helped that with the fertilum and the high yield that I used yesterday. I cannot wait to eat those beans. And then I've got so many radishes and tomatoes. I hope I've got some friends and neighbors that will take some. And some banana peppers in the back. I'm going to try pickling those. I pulled one carrot. It was peeking up out of the ground. So I thought I'd see if it was ready. Looks pretty good. I didn't see any others that were peeking up yet though. So this is the harvest. And I think we got quite a bit. I'm happy with it. Even some romas that did not have blossom rot. So... Very exciting.